Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Dolphin and you're watching HT News. Today, I am at XPMC Student Meet and I have some prestigious guests with me, which I'm going to introduce you to soon. They are going to elaborate on Indian institutions, Indian graduates and the employability lies for future endeavors. So, stay tuned. So hello and welcome again. I am Dolphin and you're watching this space of HD and I'm here at this meet called XPMC uh, Student Meet and I have Mr. Very, very, uh, I I'd like to appreciate the work that you've done first of all and I told you I'll be introducing someone special and that's Professor Duncan Bentley, Vice Chancellor and President of Federation University, Australia. Am I pronouncing that right? You are pronouncing that. Uh, <laughs> that went different. Thank you, uh, very warm welcome. Thank you so much for having us, first of all. And it's my pleasure to have you here. Professor Duncan, please elaborate the significance of the partnership between Federation uh, University Australia and uh, uh, Employability Life in bridging the gap between employment and the graduates. What is the significant role that uh, the partnership is playing? The, the students who are graduating are ready to work in a global market they work in diverse teams, in multicultural environments, and so they're ready to work, whether it's in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Sydney, Paris, wow. New York. Yeah. And they are ready and set to go, whoever employs them anywhere in the world. One of the things that you see in India, as you see elsewhere, is the fact that you've got about 57% of graduates from engineering and IT degrees who are not getting employed, whereas the unemployment rate is around 7%. And so what we're seeing is that employers are not employing the new graduates. And the big question is why? And we've been working on that for the last 30 years in Australia. And Federation University is the first cooperative university in Australia where we insist that all of our students earn and learn at the same time in employment. Wow. And it is this component where they're actually working as they learn which gives them those critical skills so that they can get a job when they graduate. So we have with us Dr. Manish Malhotra, founder and CEO of uh, Employability Life. And it's a pleasure to have you, sir, first of all here. And first of all, my question to you, like, how do you think the partnership, this partnership of uh, FUA and Employability Life will contribute to enhance the chances of Indian graduates on a global scale? Employability Life is producing experiential master courses right. which are accredited by Federation University Australia. Okay. Now these programs which are accredited by Australian universities are by default uh, at a global standard uh, with regards to other countries as well. Um, there's, um, the Australian qualifications are very well recognized across the US, Australia, Canada, uh, New Zealand and of course Australia as well. Employability Life is partnering with Federation University to provide curriculum integrated skills. So that means that while students are completing their studies, they're doing short experiential micro-credentials under industry mentors right. to enable them, once they get into the workplace, to be ready to work in agile, diverse teams, and to be able to approach industry problems okay. in a way that employers will say, thank goodness I've hired you. Also, uh, in extension to this question only, uh, can you also explain the concept of micro, experiential micro-credentials uh, and the role it's playing for the graduates? Right, so, so these programs, which we also call as XPMC, which are experiential micro-credential or master courses, they are, uh, they are bite-sized programs. Basically, they are not a full uh, degree or a qualification. They are the courses that are embedded into the qualification. So that's going to run as per the Indian standards also. Like yeah, that, yes, that so run as per the Indian calendar of what oh, they are studying. Oh, wonderful. The 
Well, one of the issues we face in universities traditionally is that our curriculum is designed probably many years in advance of when the students are going to graduate. So when they graduate, they're learning and they have come out with skills which were developed several years previously. Right, right. Now what we're doing is we're co-creating, co-designing and co-delivering right. these experiential micro-credentials through employability life so that employers are shaping the curriculum. They're oh. helping to teach the students through the mentoring program and they're helping to deliver to the students so when the students graduate they're right up at the cutting edge because the industry mentors through employability life are teaching them while they're doing their micro credentials so when they graduate right. it's only a few months ago that they were facing a problem which was facing real clients in the workplace before their graduation. Can you please shed some light on uh, this uh, industry projects and experiences that students are going to learn through Future Work Experience Center with Chandigarh University? Right, so with Chandigarh University, we are opening these uh, Future of Work Labs. Now, what we are trying to do there is to build up a long-term relationship with the university. All right. Now, with this long-term relationship, what I mean is that we want to provide uh, a real-life uh, work experience opportunities to these students at Chandigarh University. Uh, through these labs, we want to set up uh, these experiential training with the real industry where they can come to those centers and experience the industry before they go to the industry. Oh, now, this is very important for us uh, because they learn a lot of skills that they will not be able to learn academically. Right. Uh, the framework that we have helped um, learn those skills, uh, there are many, many aspects such as persistence, such as collaboration, communication, right. how do you uh, finish your task, how do you do it on time, all of those skill sets are very, very crucial. Uh, we, are not, um, we are not looking at uh, the grading system, we are looking at the work readiness profile scoring mm -hmm. and which I think is very, very important for the Absolutely. employers to have that. And so the university can assure anybody who goes through these credentials that they are internationally accredited according to the highest levels of quality assurance and the industry players say that, well, the, what you're learning during these experiential micro-credentials is what we need as well. And so when you're looking at multinational global firms who say, this works for us, and you're looking at universities who say, well, this fits all the government requirements, it's a wonderful map. How do you think it's going to leverage India's talent pool and the economic growth of our nation? And so if you look at uh, globally, where a lot of countries are seeing the global talent pool shrink, right. India is growing. Right. And so India is going to be the driver of the global economy because of the talented youth who are coming through world-class institutions right across India. True. What we want to do is to be part of that ecosystem so we can provide the internationalization of the curriculum and the connections globally so that the students who are graduating are ready to work in a global market. They work in diverse teams, in multicultural environments, and so they're ready to work, whether it's in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Sydney, Paris, wow. New York, yeah. and they are ready and set to go whoever employs them anywhere in the world. Well, this was a very knowledgeable session that I just attended and this is going to open lots of opportunities for students out there and also will help them to choose the right part that they've been wishing for. This was all for today. Thank you so much for watching.